August 29th, 1997, Skynet, a computer system built to protect us, became self-aware. It viewed humanity as a threat to its existence and decided to act. Judgment Day, as we eventually called it, marked the beginning of the war against the machines. Skynet attacks happened almost daily, but the attack that happened on that day was like nothing we'd seen before. Where's the rest of the resistance? I don't know. Private Jacob. I know who you are. An evacuation point on the other side of town. You need to get there. As soon as you get down the street, turn right and run as fast as you can.
Contact Ryan. It's important. What's there? Hello? Patrick, come over here. We can't do this right now, kiddo. I don't want to go with no, you. No, you don't, but we can't stay here. Who's there? Oh, thank God. You're from the Resistance. See, Patrick? He's going to help us. No, they're going to get us. Please, you need to help me. My little brother, he just won't listen. I'm not going. Leave me alone. I said leave me alone. I know you're scared, but staying here is not an option. I'll protect you and your sister, okay? Okay. Thank you. I'm Jennifer, by the way. I've heard there's an evacuation point near here. Yeah, I know. My people are organizing it. We're heading there right now. I'll take us there. Come on, let's go. Where's the rest of the Resistance? I don't know. I came here looking for them myself. So, it's just you then? This way. I thought Pasadena was safe. It was, until all the soldiers were pulled out from the area. Through here! Terminators! Get down! Get down! What's going on? Shh. said these attacks happen more often as the line gets closer. This Erin, has she seen the Annihilation Line? Seen it? She's been on the other side of it. She tried to warn us, but we didn't listen. We're here. How gracious of you to finally join us. Where's your father? He's not coming. God damn it. Tell Ryan that we need to leave, now! Thing. Jennifer, thank God you're here. Oh, you're from the Resistance. Thank you for making sure that Jennifer and Patrick got here safe. Are you the guy I spoke to on the radio? Nah, I, I don't think so. I haven't been able to reach anybody for a while now, but listen, I know that Colin wants us to go, but I don't know how I feel about leaving anyone behind. Jennifer just got here, and you said yourself that you heard someone on the radio. There could be other people out there. Don't you think somebody should go and look for them? I mean, you're from the Resistance. It's your call. I'll search for other survivors. Good, I'll get the bus ready. Before you go, talk to Erin. She might be able to get you a med kit. Oh, oh, and take this. You'll probably need it. Ryan told me that you might have a med kit for me. Did he now? So I guess he's the one who rations out our supplies. If you really need it, you can have it. But our supplies are scarce, and I'd rather keep it for a real emergency. So, you tell me, do you really need it or not? I'll manage without it. I'm glad you're more brave than Ryan. Chasing ghosts? That's what we do now? Fucking hero.
anyone there? No one's here. Anyone here? Nothing. Anyone in here? Who's there? There's an evacuation point not far from here. You need to get there, fast. No, I'm not leaving. Have you seen what's out there? That, that giant spider, it's going to get us. You have to destroy it. I already took care of it, it's safe now. Oh, thank God, thank you. I don't see anyone else, I'm heading your way. See them. We're almost there. Come on, let's clear the path. Yeehaw! This reminds me of a good old duck hunt in the swamp. Them. We're almost there. Come on, let's clear the path. Yeehaw! This reminds me of a good old duck hunt in the swamp. I'm out of ammo. Grab this. More of them coming.
Mark's about to pass out. We need to stop soon. Okay, we'll do that. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Ryan. That over there is Eric. She's a doctor of the group. Jennifer's a scavenger, and Colin, well, you can ask him yourself what he thinks he does. I'm Jacob. I'm a private from the Resistance. Pacific Division. Pacific? You're a long way from home. What you doing down here? My entire division was wiped out. I'm trying to get in touch with the South Division. I've got a message for Commander Baron. So it's true? The Annihilation Line's coming? It wasn't the Annihilation Line. It was something else. Then what was it? To be honest, I'm not sure myself. God damn it! That's as far as this piece of shit will go. Let's get off the road. Pull up over there. We got some time on them, so let's not lose our heads. I'll be on the fucking lookout for tin cans. Aaron, you do what you think is best for Mark. I'll see what I can do about the bus. Jacob, it might take a while, so can you look inside and see if it's safe to stay? Sure. Jennifer, would you help me? Sure. job today and you drop the fucking ball I don't have to listen to this shit sure walk away asshole That'll work. Hoo-wee. All this for us? Oh, did I startle you? What do you want? I'm so glad you asked. Since we're stuck here, I figured I'll go see if anything's creeping around the corner. I hear that you're looking for the resistance, and where I'm heading, they used to have an outpost. I wouldn't mind backup while I'm out there. So what do you say? Buddies? Talk to Ryan and see if he needs anything. I'm moving out now. Let's meet at the bridge. And don't make me wait, will you? This might come in handy. Pipe bomb. This will do some damage. Hey. Thanks for earlier. If it wasn't for you, I probably would have started completely freaking out. And that wouldn't have done anyone any good. Patrick's been through a lot, you know? 
I guess we all have. I just wish I could find something that would take his mind off all this. At least for a moment. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Were there any resistance in Pasadena? They were stationed just outside of town since I can remember. But they moved not that long ago. We tried to convince ourselves that maybe we were safe so they didn't need to be there anymore. But apparently we were wrong. What about your father? What happened to him? He protected us from a tin can. We were able to sneak out, but he had no chance. When I looked back, he was lying there, dead on the floor. Look, I'm sorry, I, I don't think I'm ready for this. Seems a repair might take a couple days. How's it looking inside? There's a lot of supplies there. Looks like someone left them for us. Nah, seems too much of a convenience. Better keep your eyes open. But speaking of supplies, we don't have much, but we keep everything useful inside this crate. You feel free to look through and pick up what you need. Listen, I know that finding the resistance is your number one priority, but if you stumble upon a set of tools while you're out there, please bring them to me, okay? I must have lost mine during the escape. Good luck out there. This is Rivers, over? Yeah, yeah, I see you. I found myself a lookout spot. No sign of any tin can so far. A couple of crawlers, but nothing you can't handle.
Dog? to take care of you. Come on. Hey, fuckhead! Your radio's on! Or was I supposed to hear that? Fucking creep. Ryan asked me to look for something.
do it. South Division has definitely been here. Order signed by Commander Baron, and it's only from a couple of days ago. Are you there? Yeah. Did you find anyone? Not yet. I'm going to the second spot. Maybe they're there. Whatever.
guys usually destroy them on site. <laughs> some movement in the factory. Resistance? Nah, it looks like a scavenger. We aren't too far from our new hideout. Maybe it's the guy who lives there. You know what? I think I'll introduce myself. At least I can do it. all over the horses. I'm going to give him a thank you card. <laughs>
sign. Let's see. Looks like they were keeping an eye on an old university hospital not far from here. Uh, they must have moved on to that hospital. All right, I've got everything. What's the status on that factory? Colin? Can you hear me? Colin? Shit.
Colin, where are you? Can you hear me? Jacob Rivers, marked for termination. Are you all right, Jacob? Jacob! said that it wasn't safe for them to be with me. But Jennifer suggested that right now, nowhere is safe, so we might as well stick together. Everyone pulled through as we prepared for the worst. But nothing happened. Jacob? Are you awake? How long have you been sitting there? Not that long. I, I know that you're going to that hospital today, so I went on my first scavenging run. And I found something for oh, you. Thank you. You're welcome. Did you go with your sister? No. As soon as Erin heard that there's a hospital nearby, she asked Jennifer to go look for some medicine. So I, I went alone. D don't tell her that, okay? She's already at the medical district? Yep. Oh, and... Ryan wanted to talk to you. Heat from a plasma rifle cauterized the wound. That's why he's not bleeding. But damage to the skin made the burn prone to infection. That's what we need to worry about. Wow. You're really smart. <laughs> I learned all that before the war. And thanks to Judgment Day, I didn't even have to pay off my student loan. Morning. Patrick came to me earlier, asking if I thought you'd like his present. When I saw that it was a single bullet, I wasn't sure if he was being helpful or if it was a warning. I figured he didn't appreciate you looking at his sister like that. How's Mark doing? Not great. We barely have any medicine left. But hopefully, Jennifer will bring back some antibiotics from that hospital. How do you... 
you feel about Colin's death? What do you want me to tell you? That I feel guilty? That I care? Right now, I'm a little more concerned with the living than the dead. Do you think you could help more people by joining the Resistance? <sighs> Honey, maybe ask me that question when you finally find them. Because for now, I don't think they even exist. Do you need help with anything? No, I'm fine. I had to learn to do things by myself for quite a while, sweetie. Now, tell me what did you really want to ask me? How did you know about the Annihilation Mine? I heard the rumors, like everyone else. And then, like everyone else, I decided to ignore them. I was in the middle of operating on a little girl. When I had finished, I realized that we were surrounded. The machines killed most of us. But they decided to keep me alive. So, that's how I ended up in a camp. Maybe they thought it would be worth having a doctor in there. I don't know. What happens at those camps? People get tortured, experimented on, cut to pieces. I couldn't watch at first. But I soon realized that I had to do what no one else could. I had to bear witness to the atrocities. You were actually the first person that wasn't afraid to ask. They're all scared of me, like... like I'm carrying some sort of disease. But they're still coming to me for medicine. Ironic, isn't it? About that camp... What do you want to know? How did the machines communicate with you? There was this one machine. We called it Nurse Ratchet. It was designed to look almost friendly. It wore an awful, smiling, rubber human face. At the end of every week, it took the weakest of us for experimentation. My cellmate, Karen, was pregnant. I knew that was a one-way ticket to the grinder, so I had to plan an escape. Did Skynet ever notice she was pregnant? Well, we tried to keep it a secret, but when she started showing, they informed me that after the birth, I would have to kill the baby. Otherwise, they would execute the whole cage. The baby came early, and Karen died giving birth. She didn't even get to see her child. I had to take action. Me and one other prisoner took the child, and we got to the disposal room where we covered ourselves with dead bodies. Then we just lay there, waiting for them to throw us out. And they did. They dumped us outside the camp, ready for the grinder. Were you still behind the Annihilation Mine? Yes. We couldn't find anyone for days. We thought we were the last of the human race. Just the two of us and a baby girl. We ran to protect her. But deep down, we were preparing for the worst. Anyway, you're healthy, right? And your bones don't look broken, so stop bothering me. Hey, you're off again? I'll see you later. I'm gonna stay here and help Aaron. Now sit. Roll over. Fetch. We've got a lot to learn.
Jacob, thank you for finding him for me. I promise I'll take good care of him. Now, what should I call him? Maybe... Wolfie? I don't know about that. You wanted to talk to me? First of all, thank you for bringing me that toolkit. That bus should be ready in no time. Good to see you finally turn the corner. I wanted to talk to you. I'm starting to get worried about Jennifer. It's been a while since she left, and at my age, I try to worry as little as possible. If you see her out there, send her back, okay? Do you remember Judgment Day? I do. That's right. I'm that old. My memory ain't as good as it used to be. However, there are some images that stand out in my mind. My brother Tucker hitting on this lady guard or people covered in mud. But for the life of me, <laughs> I can't remember the name of that band. Band? <laughs> Where was it? Tucker always dragged me to these events, uh, driving a hundred miles to the middle of nowhere just to jump around with a bunch of strangers. <laughs> Wasn't really my thing. Who would have known that it would have saved my life, though? Yeah, it was one of those outdoor festivals. When we got in, we decided to climb this metal tower to get a better view of the stage, you know. So as we're watching this band play their hearts out, we see a burst of bright, ugly light. I went blind for a while. Couldn't you look away? Well, there's no escaping it. It lit up the sky, lighting every peak and ridge of the nearby mountain range. Something only a nuclear bomb could do. With my bloodshot eyes, the only other thing I could see clearly was a people below me being crushed. The tower we were clinging onto started shaking. It finally gave in after the shockwave from the explosion. I closed my eyes and it started falling onto the people below. Oh. Oh. What am I thinking of? I'm usually a lighthearted guy. Why don't we talk about something more positive? Oh, God, I remember the name of that band now. It was captured by robots. How's that bus coming along? I'll make a run again, don't worry about it. Besides a couple of rusty rotors, it got a whole lot of character. The question is, where do we go from here? <laughs>